For this activity, you only need baking soda and vinegar. And this will teach your kids the acid-base reaction. To make it more fun and interesting, you can use any of the toys of your kids. So for me and Nemo, I used his toy book and put a water in a container. Here, the vinegar is the acid and the baking soda is the base. When an acid and a base mix, they form a gas called carbon dioxide. For the next activity, you can ask your child to put all his favorite toys in a container that is filled with water and put it in the freezer. This activity is very good for toddlers like Nemo. This is called sensory play and it uses exploratory learning. It encourages the development of fine and gross motor skills. It also helps with their cognitive growth. To make this activity more fun, you can freeze surprise toys. Next activity is sink or float. This activity will encourage your child to make predictions and observations about density. Objects that are less dense than water will float, while objects that are more dense than water will sink. And this is a fun way to keep your preschoolers occupied. If you want to make it more fun for your child, you can add food coloring into water or jello powder or juice crystals. The next activity is what we call magic milk. It is super easy and your kids will be amazed. You only need milk, food coloring and dishwashing liquid. And watch your kids be amazed. You can also make some colorful Play-Dohs using some ingredients that you already have in your cupboard. I hope this video has helped you think of some activities for your preschoolers this lockdown. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.